Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. First, the headlines. Civil defense clamps down on fuel holders in Edo. Nigeria orders restart $13 billion Trans-Saharan gas pipeline project. Nigeria earns 36.67 trillion naira on local content retention. And now, the news in detail. The Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps in Edo State have clamped down on filling stations, hoarding fuel, and those selling above the approved pump price of 165 naira. Value Chain reports that the exercise took the call to four stations on Airport Road, Sapele Road, and Ugbo Road, all within the state capital. Our correspondent learned that a vast majority of the stations were selling petrol at between 205 naira and 220 naira per litre. The civil defense officials forced the stations to revert to the 165 naira pump price. Ani Eko Udoeyo, the state commandant of the Corps, told reporters during the exercise that the clampdown had become imperative as the actions of the four stations and their owners were creating artificial scarcity in the state. Mr. Udoeyo lamented that in spite of his earlier warning to four station owners and operators, some of them were not only hoarding products but were selling above the 165 pump price. For crying out loud, any four station which is not ready to sell at normal price should close down. I had on February 7th gone round four stations across the state and advised them on the need to maintain the status quo in pump price per liter as well as the seeds from hoarding products to foster artificial scarcity. Mr. Odeo disclosed that all the persons arrested during the clampdown would face the law while stations sealed would not be reopened until they normalize their meter. To avoid a near collapse of the Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline project, Nigeria and other African countries have committed to reviving the project targeting gas supply to Europe. Energy ministers of Nigeria, Niger and Algeria signed the declaration of Niyami during the third edition of the Economic Communities of West African States ECOWAS Mining and Petroleum Forum ECOMOF in Niyami on February 16, 2022. The pipeline will enable Europe to tap directly into the three countries' significant natural gas reserves. Endorsed by Chief Timper Silver, Nigeria's Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Mahamane Sani Mahamodu, Minister of Petroleum Energy and Renewable Energies for the Republic of Niger, and Mohamed Arkab, Minister of Energy and Mines, Algeria, the agreement will see the resumption of the Trans Saharan Gas Pipeline project. Post completion, the pipeline will transport 30 billion cubic feet of natural gas yearly from Nigeria, Algeria, and Niger to European markets via Algeria's strategic Mediterranean coast as well as supply inland stations along its route. It will enable Europe to tap directly into the three countries' natural gas reserves, thus diversifying its supply in the wake of the current energy crisis while creating critical sources of revenue for African gas markets. Much of the estimated $13 billion pipeline costs will be spent in Niger, acting as a much-needed boost for the already growing energy sector and wider economy. It will also enable Niger to monetize its own gas reserve. Nigeria has retained about 36.67 trillion naira from the oil industry spent over the past 11 years through the implementation of the local content policy. The policy had also led to the creation of some 50,000 jobs for Nigerians. The implementation of the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Content Development NOGICD Act is expected to lead to retention of more than 54.2 trillion naira and creation of 300,000 jobs under a 10-year plan ending in 2027. 
data provided by the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board NCDMB at the weekend indicated that the NOGICD Act, which was enacted in 2010, had raised Nigeria's annual local content retention from near zero prior to the Act to more than $8 billion from the annual oil industry spend of $20 billion, an annual average retention of 40%. This is equivalent to 36.67 trillion naira at the current exchange rate under a 10-year plan ending 2027 ncdmb plans to increase nigeria's local content retention to 70 percent equivalent to 13 billion dollars of the estimated average yearly oil industry spend of 20 billion dollars or 130 billion dollars over the period amounting to 54.2 trillion naira at the current exchange rate <music> The lead operator of the Sankofa oil field, ENI Ghana Limited, and his partner, Vito Upstream Limited, are yet to carry out an order by the Accra High Court to pay 30% of revenues realized from the sale of crude oil from the field to the courts for preservation. On January 24th this year, the court ordered ENI and Vito to pay 30% of the revenue accumulated since June 2021 to the court and continue to pay same every Every month until the determination of a legal case between the two companies and an indigenous Ghanaian oil company, Springfield Exploration and Production Limited (SEP). It is estimated that the 30% to be paid by ENI and Vito for preservation amounts to about 40 million dollars monthly. Springfield has been battling the two foreign oil giants in court with the aim of enforcing a 2020 directive by a former Minister of Energy, Mr. John Peter Ame to the companies to unitize their respective fields located at Cape Tree Point in accordance with Section 34, Subsection 1 of the Petroleum Exploration and Production Act 2016. At stake in the dispute are more than 500 million barrels of oil. The commercial division of the Accra High Court, presided over by Justice Mariama Samu, had ordered ENI and Vito to immediately start making the 30% payment to the court and for the register of the court to take action on it. <music> German producer prices jumped 25% on the year in January, pushed up mainly by higher energy prices official data showed today. The January figures continued the trend of very steep increases for the fourth month in a row after October, November and December showed jumps of 18.4%, 19.2% and 24.2% respectively. Analysts polled by Reuters had forecast an annual increase of 24 percent producer prices also registered an increase of 2.2 percent month on month against a record of five percent in december energy prices were up 66.7 percent compared with january 2021 the federal statistics office said stripping out energy prices producer prices rose 12 percent on the year producer prices are considered a leading indicator for inflation they are recorded at the factory gates before products are processed further or go on sale and can provide an early indication of consumer price trends.
Nigeria's surest path to full and effective funding of annual budgets as well as long-term strategies can only happen if it turns to her portfolio of national assets to unlock liquidity and focus on increasing its revenue base, officials of NAMB have reviewed. According to experts who spoke at the National Association of Microfinance Banks, NAMB, Lagos chapter in Lagos recently, Nigeria's outing for 2022 can be positive only if it deploys effective policy instruments, adjusts and reconnects its economy with unfolding global realities and stop borrowing in the wrong way. Speaking on the team, the importance of microfinance in revamping the Nigerian economy, rose, impacts and prospects and the 2022 outlook of the nation's economy, the Chief Executive Officer Economic Associate Dr. Ayo Teriba said that opportunities to move the economy forward remained abound, but the narratives run contrary to the reality while adding that China, Brazil and India, who were once in the poverty bracket, has gone on to become superpowers in the global economy. Teriba explained that for Nigeria to get away from the poverty brackets, it needs to strategically reposition itself for global trends, become proactive in seizing opportunities ahead of orders, adjust and connect its economy to the unfolding global realities in 2022. He stated that increasing taxes in a recession will not bring in more revenue as revenue aspirations might not be met and added that the wide disparities between outcomes and official pronouncements undermines physical credibility of the government. Before we end the news, here's a recap of our headlines. Civil defense clamps down on four orders in Edo. Nigeria orders restart $13 billion Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline project. Nigeria earns 36.67 trillion Naira on local content retention. And that's the news. I am Naomi Oleribe. Good evening.